Now that you know how to take ambient and flash readings, here's a few tricks that will help you more effectively meter. Once you have a reading, the meter can do the math for you. Let's say the meter shows you're at f5.6 and a 60th shutter at ISO 100, and you want to know what your shutter speed would be at f22. Simply rotate the dial and the meter gives you the corresponding shutter speed. Or if you want to change your ISO, hold down the ISO button and rotate the jog wheel and you'll see your adjusted shutter speed. In ambient mode, you can hold down the measure button and the unit will continuously meter the light. This works well to see how much you're dimming a light when you're turning it down. You can also use this trick to make sure you have a solid background lit evenly from side to side. For metering a three-dimensional object like a person's face, put the lumosphere up. When retracted, it makes it easier to meter light coming from a single direction. For portraits, many recommend taking a reading under the subject's chin. The L358 lets you input two ISOs, allowing you to switch back and forth between them. Simply press either ISO button while rotating the jog wheel to set them. ISO 1 is always your default, and selecting ISO 2 will show you what your reading would be under its setting. You can lock in your meter settings to prevent them from accidentally being changed by pressing Mode and ISO 1 simultaneously. The letters LOC will appear on the display. To unlock the unit, press Mode and ISO 1 again, and the LCD will display the word OFF. If you ever find you can't adjust the settings on your meter, you may have inadvertently locked it. This concludes the L358 Quick Start video series.